and you're like, and a, and a, and a healthy hive can produce about 100 pounds or, or more of honey a year. Um, but they, you remember, you also have 30 to 60,000 bees, so. But a 12th of a teaspoon. I'm making a bee puppet. Because bees will go in a figure eight and they shake their bottoms. And then they move in this figure eight and they shake their bottoms. And then every time they move in this circle and they this figure eight and they shake their bottom, that tells you where the where the nectar is and how far away it is from the hive. I realized bees were the original twerkers. I am making a bee puppet. Her name is Beyonce. So all the workers are, oh, my wife came up with that, she's so smart. Because she told me that Beyonce is the queen bee twerker. And I was like, oh my gosh, you two can't make this stuff up. Although now we're worried, wondering if I'll get sued, but we have to respell it different. I probably will, but what, what are you gonna get? I'm a naturalist, you know? <laughs> all right, oh, now I gotta do a bug song. How many, how many, how many, how many legs do bugs have? What do you think? Eight? Nope, that's okay. Job security for me, my friend. Yep, he's got six up there. And it is okay. I will tell you, young people, it is okay to be wrong. You can be wrong all the time. And it's there's no problem. I'm, I'm, I, you can ask my wife. I'm wrong pretty much most of the time. And yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, here you go. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, you know, about, every, every bug has six legs. Now, I got a question, though. How many legs do caterpillars have? Hmm. What do you think? You're not allowed to answer. You've been to my show a bajillion times. Six legs. I know you're sitting there thinking 20 or 30, but remember, a caterpillar is a what? It's a bug, it's an insect. All insects have how many legs? Six legs. The only true legs on a caterpillar are the pointy little legs in the front. The big things in the back are pseudo legs, false legs. They're not even made the same way legs are made. And when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly or moth, it only retains its six legs. All insects have six legs. Young people, I want you to stand up. I'm going to let mom and dad take a break. Or if you want to stand up, you're more than welcome. Stand up. Come on. It's time to move your bodies. You don't have to come up. Just stand where you are. Here's what I want you to put three legs on this side. Put three. Oh, dude. Wait. What are you like? You're, you're stand up. Come on. Inside of you is that Lego person going, everything is awesome. Look, if a fat, bald guy can stand up, you can stand up. You're young. you got your whole life ahead of you. Put three legs up on this side. Put three legs up on this side. Say six legs. To jump, to jump, walk, walk, and swim. Because some bugs swim. They have three body parts. They have their head. Everybody say head. That's where their antenna are. Then they have their thorax. Say thorax. That's where their legs are. How many legs do bugs have? Then they have their abdomen. Everybody go abdomen. Oh, oh, check it out. You guys are gonna like this. Check it out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You know what's so cool? Bugs breathe. Bugs breathe through their butt. Now, where do you breathe? You breathe out your mouth or your nose, right? Bring your arm up, say, I breathe out the middle of my face. Try, ready? I breathe out the middle of my face. Bugs don't breathe out the middle of their face. They don't have lungs like we do. They have little holes on the sides of their abdomen called spiracles. That's where they take their oxygen in through tubes. Yeah, so that's how they breathe. All right, so bring your arms up, go. Head, thorax, and abdomen. Do it again, ready? Head, thorax, and abdomen. Now, do you guys have a skeleton? Yeah, where's your skeleton? Inside your body? Check it out, if you were a bug, your skeleton would be on the outside of your body. It is called your exoskeleton. Exo is outside. Put your arms up, go exoskeleton. Now go, like their skin. Wear it on the outside, not on the end. Because they're bugs. Now, this is one of the only songs I have where I have a little competition. The competition is to actually listen to me. I like to see who's listening the best. And here's how I can tell. Whenever you hear the word bug, whenever you hear the word bug, yep, that's right, antennas have to come up. You can have little antennas, you can have big antennas, but whenever you hear the word bugs, I want to see some antennas. Here we go, ready, bugs. Pretty good, I like it. How many legs do bugs have? One. <laughs> it's a new creative map, huh? What is your name? Lauren? Probably the first name your teacher learns, honey. Here we go, ready? Six legs to jump, let's jump. 
walk and swim, three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Do it again, ready? Head, thorax, and abdomen, arms out, exoskeleton. Here we go. Like their skin, they wear it on the outside, not on the end, because they're bugs. Get those antennas, talking about bugs. Here's what they use their antennas for. Antennas they use to communicate, to sense their food or to smell their mate. Some antennas are long, some are thin, some are knobby or fuzzy, but no matter how they use them, bugs, they can smell with their antennas. Moths can smell another moth from about two miles away, the pheromones with their antennas. I know, what do you use to smell with? Or knows. Wait, wait, everybody uses different things. Bugs can taste, what do you taste with? Your tongue? Bugs, some bugs can taste with their feet. Uh, I know, how cool is that? Unless you step in dog poop. I don't know. Get those six legs up, here we go. Six legs to jump, let's jump. Walk and swim, three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. Arms out, exoskeleton, you're ready. Like their skin, they wear it on the outside. They have compound two to look for predators or to find their food. Thousands of eyes. How many eyes do you have? One. You have one? <laughs> you don't get out too much, Lauren, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks like you have two. Most of us have two. Uh, some people have one, but uh, bug. If you were now, Lauren, if you were a bug, if you were a a dragonfly, you would have fifteen thousand eyes. <laughs> on this side, and you have 15,000 eyes on the other side, and if 30,000 eyes isn't enough, then you'd have three simple eyes in the middle of your head. Over 30,000 eyes? Take you three weeks to put your contacts in. Thousands of eyes, how about you? Would you like having compound eyes like they do, yeah? Bugs, talking about bugs. That's some good antennas. Get those legs up, here we go. Six legs to jump, let's jump. Walk and swim, three body parts, head, forks, and abdomen, arms out, exoskeleton, like their skin, they wear it on the outside, not on the in, they're bugs, talking about bugs. Now, here's what they do, they drink our blood, they eat our food, there, you don't like the drinking the blood part, huh? Oh, by the way, I'll tell you, it is the female mosquito that does that. You can't blame us males for that one. I'm sorry. Us males are hopping from flower to flower, sipping the nectar. But the females need that protein for their eggs. Drink our blood, they eat our food, they infest our house, you know. They think it's cool, but they're not bad, they're just hungry, yeah, like you and me. Bugs have to eat, yeah, bugs. Talking about bugs. Get those six legs up, here we go. Six legs to jump, let's jump. Walk and swim, three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen, arms out, exoskeleton, like their skin. They wear it on the outside, not on the end. Arthropods, insects, Whee! Lawrence, 